what stands out to me is um, just just watching the Republican revenge, uh, convention and this they're spewing this fear, right? Like all you hear is Donald Trump and all of them talking about fear. We're the ones getting killed. We're the ones getting shot. Uh, we're the ones that we're denied to live in certain communities. Um, we've been hung. We've been shot. And all you do is keep hearing about fear. It's, it's amazing to me why we keep loving this country and this country does not love us back. And it's just, it's really so sad. Like I should just be a coach. And it's so often reminded of my color. You know, it's just really sad. We gotta do better, uh, but we gotta demand better. Like we got, you know, it's, it's funny. We protest and they send riot guards, right? Uh, they send people in riot outfits. They go to Michigan with guns and they're spitting on cops and nothing happens. The training has to change in the police force. The unions have to be taken down in the police force. My dad was a cop. I believe in good cops. We're not trying to defund the police and take all their money away. We're trying to get them to protect us, just like they protect everybody else. Uh, I didn't want to talk about it before the game because it's so hard, like, to just keep watching it. That video, if, if you watch that video, you don't need to be black to be outraged. You, don't, you need to be American and outraged. And how dare the Republicans talk about fear? We're the ones that need to be scared. We're the ones having to talk every, to every black child. What white father has to give his son a talk about being careful if you get pulled over? It's, it's just ridiculous. And, and it just keeps getting, it keeps going. Uh, there's no charges. Breonna Taylor, no charges, nothing. All we're asking is you live up to the Constitution. That's all we're asking for everybody, for everyone. Thank you.